I'm Jane. And I'm Anne. And we have a couple announcements to make before we get going today on our video, which is chocolate frosting. And what do you want to call this? Like German chocolate frosting? Or just, it's a new frosting that they have for our, our cakes. Three announcements are June, sorry, January 6th, coming right up. We have a lunch party happening in the Hanover, New Hampshire area. If you are a New Englander, come and start your new year with us. It's a fun. Oh, I can't imagine a better way to start the new year if than you so that food. Tasty Ooh. and yummy. So January 6th, um, we are having our big annual women's event, um, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease and Alzheimer's Disease for Women. With the shares eyes. The shares eyes are amazing. Fantastic couple. Their information is is what we all. Everybody, everybody, needs to hear this. And so they're coming to, um, to be part of this amazing conference on March 9th here in the Cleveland, Ohio area. Please come and join us. Third thing I want to announce is we're having we're having a camp for just for vitality and for energy and for women. And it's in Ohio, June 6th to 9th. Come join us romping around, not a lot of time talking about food, but a lot of time eating, <laughs> eating food and being together doing it. It's camp. We're having camp. Okay. So those out of the way, um, we're going to start with these cakes. These cakes are actually from this little wee chocolate cake kick that we sell. And people have been getting these and uh, they've been curious about how do we frost them? And we basically have a plant. These cakes are just amazingly, they're, they're moist. I mean, it's, and I, I love something that's so easy. I mean, there is no way to get plant perfect food that you can just go to the store and buy in a kit, but here it is. And we'll just, I think what makes it so moist, actually, I'm glad you said that, is that um, it's made of oat flour, cocoa powder, apple baking sauce. soda, dry vanilla, cinnamon, applesauce, vinegar, and then at home, uh, you add uh, maple syrup and water. That's it. So this is a plant perfect recipe and it can fit in a, oh, where's the tin? Where's the round? It can, you, can make, you can bake it in this size um, loaf, uh, bakes a little longer, at, or in a eight inch round, eight inch, not nine, nine inch you'll have a little pancake, but this is an eight inch round. Um, anyway, so these, these great little, I call them my like wee chocolate cake, wee chocolate cake kits. Um, they are an, on our website, but this is how they form. People usually get two of them stacked on top. But instead of baking four cakes for this demo, we just baked one each. Um, and Anne has been the inspiration for this frosting, which is plant perfect. And it's, we want to explain what this This frosting is, is the, the basis of all the desserts that I ever make, which I. <laughs> it truly I, is. I, I, it is. I, t I start with the silken, and that is key. It, is, it makes it smooth, and not, as Jane said, otherwise. The other tofus can make it end up like cat litter. Yeah, clumpy, dry. And this uh, organ and this this happens to be organic firm. Uh, it's if it's not available at your grocery store, you can always get this online on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And what I like to do for frosting, Anne likes to make just mousse and pudding and stuff with with this. And you can make lime or lemon or or chocolate. Um, I for frosting like to wrap it. In about six or seven towels, over and over and over and over this. It wasn't mm -hmm. really it, 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 it crumbled last night. But look here, here are all the extra uh, towels that we had them in, and it pulls some of the moisture out of the tofu because we don't use sugar as a sweetener. We use maple syrup as our sweetener. It's it's liquid, so um, we take out some of the liquid before we add in, and hopefully the frosting comes out. See, this is this is really. It looks like Philadelphia cream cheese. To, you know, it looks like that firm. Now I I, I never. I don't have that patience, or I don't remember to do it. So I did it at midnight. When, I, when mine comes out, I might just squeeze it, you know, like this with a lot of oh, layers. Sure, just do that. Squeeze yeah, it. I mean, like that. But um, the but anyway, moisture comes through. You can feel and, the moisture, and you can do that. But but by doing it this way, of James, you oh. do end up with a set with a frosting that is just to die for. It's thicker and creamier. But I would never do that. I mean, I I just. I just stick the tofu in out of the box after jumping out the liquid when I'm making all my desserts. But I explain this because um, people often say, oh, I made your frosting, but it was really wet and it was running all over the place. It has to be light, silk, and firm, and ideally, dr um, not drained, but wrapped in towels overnight. Here it goes. Oh, it's not going. Try it out. Oh. All right, now to Anne. 
Uh, well, her, this actually is a recipe, sorry, in the Engine 2 cookbook. That's good. That's good. And um, on page 250, if you're following along, and we add to this, um, and we're doubling it because we want to ha we wanted to have half of this recipe to eat later on, so we're doubling it for our own pleasure. Um, so we have the light and silicon firm tofu that's been uh, drained, and add cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. And maple syrup. Maple syrup. You know what I love to do after I put maple syrup in things? Get it all out? No. Well, yeah, but get it all out with my finger. Okay, there, oh my. there was so much left in there. better, my tongue. <laughs> and here, wow. well, here, here is vanilla. And then, on it goes. That's it. Amazing. All right. Now, uh, cooking with a, or blending up cocoa powder, it sometimes gets caught up high on the sides, so it does take a few runarounds with our, um, oh, we love these things. Um, I can't pronounce it right, Tavolo. But this gets all the corners. I always use this end because it's so flexible. Uh, I always use that end. Look, and look, you got like, like snow down there. So while she's uh, making hers, I'm going to explain the one that I make, which is Plant Strong. It's Plant Strong because it contains walnuts. If you have heart disease, I would not suggest this as your, as your holiday frosting. Rather, that one. Okay. The way I, I accidentally created this one and I liked it as I was making a recipe in the original book I made with my brother Rip. Um, called Plant Strong, one of my favorites still, and I was making some real flapjacks, which are what the Scottish sheep, when they're hiking over the highlands or across Loch Lomond in their sporran, they have the three um, flapjacks, which are actually oat cakes. And I was making it with the foundation, which is walnuts and some maple syrup and some vanilla and cinnamon. And then I stopped right there because I was like, this is like a beautiful frosting. It was kind of like texture of uh, German chocolate. So anyway, if you have Plant Strong, do the first half of the real flapjacks on page 142, and then stop. Don't add, don't add the oats. And they are, it's walnuts and maple syrup. And do you want to lick the bowl here? Uh. Your tongue could fit in here better than in that. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, mm -hmm. oh, I was kidding. And a uh, little vanilla and a wee bit of cinnamon. Just a wee bit, oh, some walnuts. And then this blended up makes a great frosting. Are you ready to frost your cake yet? Well, no, I'm just... Uh... Oh! Okay. Boy, this frosting, this is amazing. It is so thick. It is really... When I do it, it's always runnier because I never <clears throat> get it. The, the tofu is so perfect like Jane does. Oh my. Okay. Um, this is sort of like the texture of German chocolate. I don't know if you can see this. But it is, just sort of has that, it's not pretty pretty, but it, it's pretty if you know what it's going to taste like. Um, so this, I just like to put on top. And it is delicious. Are we going to eat this right now? Well, I don't know. I kind of want it, but it's also, once you cut into a cake, it's like, you, you, you just got to go. You got to eat it. Well, that's my problem with making a cake, is I don't, I'm not happy till I've finished it. So oh, we'll make it sometime. My mom just recently made a lemon cake. <laughs> and she um, had the friends coming over uh, for lunch or it was dinner. Anyway, she ended up eating the whole first cake that she made so she had to make a second one for everybody, but she ate so much of the cake that she she started getting uh, well, actually the cake cramps. What or I something. did wasn't so good. I was improvising. Oh, you did the I'm sides and everything cake. on yours. Yeah, mine's beautiful. All right, well, mine's beautiful and, too. And, 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 and I only and, like the two at the top of mine. And please note, this is nice and polished. She polished it. I polished it with ashes right beforehand. Perfect. Okay, well. From here, you would decorate with strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, um, whatever you want to make it look just a little more full of vitality or um, just appealing to the eye. And, oh, she's got some for her. I'll put one in the room. There. And oh. you go make your cake. 
okay? Little wee chocolate cake kit available, or you can follow the Adonis cake mix. It's or the Adonis cake recipe. It's in Plant Strong. Um, it's kind of similar to this one, but um, we hope you enjoy chocolate cake this holiday. And, oh, Jane, what? You, you would do this. You would. You could. This. This. You would do with two layers. You could do anything. Two layers. Three you layers. Do four layers. Yeah. You could do five layers. Okay. Or, you, you know, you could put raspberries between or something. <laughs> it's endless. Endless. Tell us what you do with your cake. Thank you. Bye. Bye.